Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson Jr. I am the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this powerful video. In this video, you're going to experience life-changing information that you will not find anywhere else. I'm doing an incredible interview with a great friend of mine. His name is Tom Wilwright, and Tom Wilwright is a certified CPA. And Tom Wilwright reveals in this exclusive interview how you can reduce your taxes like the wealthy do. He also exposes how 401ks is a joke. And he also reveals how the wealthy do not invest in 401ks and much, much more. So right about now, go get your pen and your pad, sit back and relax, and write down some notes. In this interview that I'm going to reveal to you with my great friend, Tom Wilwright, in regards to how business owners can reduce their taxes like the wealthy do, this interview is going to change your life. So check it out. You are experiencing a life-changing, powerful interview, and you are hearing it first from Arthur Robinson Jr.'s PowerfulInterviews.com. Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson Jr. I'm the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com, and tonight I have another special interview for each and every one of you. Tonight I have a wonderful person on the call, and he's a great friend of mine. His name is Tom Wilwright. And for those that don't know Tom, let me explain to each and every one of you about this incredible, powerful man. Tom Wilwright, he's a powerful CPA, is a creative force behind ProVision, the world's premier strategic CPA firm. As the founder and CEO, Tom has been responsible for innovating new tax business and wealth consulting and strategy services for ProVision's premium clientele for the past 16 years. Tom is a leading expert and published author on partnerships and corporation tax strategies, a well-known platform speaker, and a wealth educator innovator. Donald Trump selected Tom to contribute to his Wealth Builders Program, calling Tom the best of the best. The powerful Robert Kiyosaki, best-selling author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, calls Tom a team player that anyone who wants to be rich needs to add to his team. In Robert Kiyosaki's recent book, The Real Book of Real Estate, Tom himself authored chapters 1 and 21 of this powerful book. Tom also contributed to Robert Kiyosaki Saki's Rich Dad Success Stories, Who Took My Money, and his recently book, Unfair Advantage, and that is an awesome resume, and without further ado, I'd like to welcome the one, the only, the powerful, Tom Wilwright to the call. Oh, great. Thanks so much, Arthur. It's terrific being here. Well, I'd like to thank you, Tom, for taking time out of your busy schedule to educate me and the listeners worldwide about tax strategies that they can take advantage of. I gladly appreciate it. Well, it's, it's totally my privilege. I, I love doing this. This is pretty much full-time for me now is educating the public and educating our clients on uh, wealth and tax strategies. So it's, it's terrific to be here. appreciate you uh, having me on the show. Well, I'm very honored to have you. To everyone that's on this call, I highly recommend go and get your pen and your pad right now and write down these powerful notes that Tom is going to reveal to you in regards to reducing your taxes, which that will put more money in your bank account. Is that correct, Tom? Absolutely. Now, what I'd like to know, and can you educate the listeners worldwide in regards to who is the powerful Tom Wilwright, how long have you been in your powerful industry, and what is your expertise? Well, I have, uh, I'm a certified public accountant. I have been in uh, this industry for over 30 years. I have uh, spent several years, uh, seven years, in the, uh, one of the top uh, international accounting firms in the world, Ernst & Young, uh, three years in their national tax office, spent four years as the in-house tax advisor for a Fortune 500 company, and for the last... Uh, 16 plus years, uh, about 16 years ago, I started my own firm, uh, which is currently called ProVision, and we serve clients now all over the world. We have clients on six continents, every state in the United States, and uh, we just 
We just love talking about um, really some of the fundamental principles of how both the tax law works and how uh, wealth is really created. Hmm. Now, if we have people on the call that are thinking about becoming CPAs, is it possible that you can invest in your own CPA firm? Oh, definitely. In fact, when I when I started, uh, I started from scratch. And <laughs> I started. I had two clients, and uh, I worked really hard um, for nine months. Uh, I, I I did cold calling for nine months, um, uh, five days a week, ten hours a day. I was so successful, I'd actually doubled my firm in nine months. So went from two clients to four clients. Wow. Uh, so it was a little challenging at first, okay, because nobody actually taught me how to build a CPA firm. So I kind of learned by the uh, in, in the school of hard knocks, like like a lot of us do. It was only later that I, I actually learned that uh, at the end of that nine months that I could actually buy a CPA firm. And I didn't even need any money to buy a CPA firm. So I I bought so I, I've actually bought uh, purchased a couple of different CPA firms over the years, and uh, sure anybody can uh, any CPA can certainly um, start their own business. I have friends who were just two years out of college when they started their own firm. It took me a little longer. I was 13 years out of college before I started mine, but. Um, I had a I had a real desire to I, I wanted to build a very specific type of firm, and I needed the the right education, the right experience to do so. Mm. So basically, you don't need your own capital to start your own CPA firm. No, just like any other investment, it takes money to make money, but it doesn't have to be your money. Wow, I love that concept. <laughs> Now, I've seen a powerful video that you did, and you was breaking down layman's terms about depreciation is a great tax benefit in real estate, and you was talking about cost segregation. Can you explain that to the listeners in layman's terms so they fully understand, especially the listeners that own commercial real estate, how can they take advantage of that tax benefit? Yeah, I, I'd be happy to. Let me let me let me uh, preface it just by giving a little bit of background on what how the tax law works in general. Um, there's a, this huge mis misconception that the tax law is there to punish people, and that is completely backwards. The tax law is fundamentally a series of stimulus packages for real estate investors and business owners, and that's what it's there for. In fact of about 5,800 pages of actual tax law, this is the Internal Revenue Code itself, only about 30 pages raise revenue. There's one line that says, every all incomes taxable unless we say otherwise. And then there's about 29 pages of tables and, and charts that say how much to pay. But the remaining 5,770 pages is devoted to reducing your taxes. So you can think of it the way I, we look at the tax law here at ProVision is that it is a roadmap to reducing your taxes. Now, one of the major um, industries that is benefited by these incentive plans is the real estate industry, and it's the real estate rental industry. It's not, you know, people who fix and flip. They, they, they're a business. They're not um, real estate investors per se. They're business owners, and they have their own set of benefits and their own set of rules. But the real estate investors, like you're talking about, the commer whether it's commercial real estate or um, whether it's residential real estate, they have some very specific and very intense tax benefits. In fact, re real estate investors who are serious, active, continuous real estate investors should never pay tax on their cash flow or on the gains from the sale of their assets, ever. Mm. Either one. That's how that's how great the incentives are. Now the challenge is is that um, real estate, uh, from a tax standpoint, real estate is a fairly uh, it's a complex area in the details, not in the in the in the general uh, concepts. But the details are a little complex, and so a lot of CPAs don't understand these, and so they think that well, boy, if if you're if you're going to do something to, to